All right, guys, welcome to episode 128 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Hit that like button, leave a comment, go down in the description, get yourself some merch from Teespring. You know what I'm saying? Light your J, light your blunt, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, get your edibles ready, get your dab rigs going. Whatever the fuck you do, man, we're with it, man. We're with it. Welcome back. Yo, it's a yo. beautiful Tuesday. How the fuck we feeling today, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Fucking my dog almost fucking killed a turtle. Almost. Oh, no, he murdered. No, him. he murdered this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you what, man. Remy's a cold-blooded animal. Yeah, my dog. He cold. looks cute, but when you look into his eyes. <laughs> that, motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucker put that baby turtle in his mouth and fucking ran off, bro. Ran off. I've never seen anything he like it. He killed the motherfucker, right? And then we got him away from it, and he ran back, bro. And before I fucking knew it, I turned around. This nigga has the turtle in his mouth again. I grab him, bro. And I'm like, yo, let go, bro. He's not <laughs> letting go. You have to, like, take his... You have to, like, <coughs> open up his mouth and, like, fucking grab it because he won't let go. He's like a fucking pit bull, you know? They fucking just hold on. They don't fucking let yeah, go. Yeah, he's a bully. He's a, He's literally in the bully family. But yeah, man, shout out to Remy for being a piece of shit. Good morning. Start off the morning catching a body. You know what I mean? Hey, he caught caught a body. And I was just like, bro, I was upset, bro. I put him in timeout. My dog was mad, bro. My dog was mad, bro. But I told him, I was like, honestly, bro, it's just, hey, man, it's the animal kingdom. Little fish yeah. get ate by the bigger fish. The bigger fish get ate by the biggest fish. Yeah, that's, that's, how I go. that's just sad. I was sad, bro. I ain't My dog lie. was about to fucking I was gonna hold cry. a funeral in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I was going to do a Viking ceremony, put him on the fucking little little raft and float him out and light him on fire, you know? Yeah, like the Vikings. Damn, Damn. that's fucking... I never understood that. <laughs> yeah. Half, half burnt body floating in the fucking ocean now. <laughs> nah, it's cremation. And then the ashes just you. fall into the ocean, you know? And yeah, but it. you're on water. So the water's going to put out that fire... Eventually, yeah. By, by the time it's done, <laughs> by the time by it's, the time you cooked, you're well done. Yeah, by the time it's done, it's fucking. You know, you'd be good. You'd be in ashes. You know, maybe half ashes, and then the birds, I mean, will, the birds will eat you. Honestly, who gives a fuck? You're fucking dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but whatever. Throw them in the ocean and say goodbye. Yeah, for real. Your soul's already gone. <laughs> nah, for real. But listen, man. What, what's your beef with uh with TikTok and them? <laughs> bro, like I don't know if y'all follow us on TikTok and stuff, but we're pretty consistent on there as well. <clears throat> and uh every time I fucking post a clip, like they they end up banning stupid fucking shit. Like we're not even fucking cursing half the time or we're just talking about a serious like they remember that remember last episode we we're talking about New Year's and how like not everybody makes it to fucking New Year's and a celebration. Yeah. They banned that whole clip. And wow. I was just and I was just like, bro, but then they let fucking kids show off their tits that are like 14, 15 years old dancing and doing all this crazy shit. You got fucking inappropriate stuff. You know yeah, what I mean? Kids, and I'm are, not, kids and I'm, are doing inappropriate things and watching inappropriate things. Yeah, like I'm but not, you give your opinion about something and you're fucking wrong. Yeah, like you can't even have freedom of speech anymore and they will literally take away your comment in like twenty seconds. Like yeah, they have no, an automated, yeah, they have like an automated system where it's like boom, they, they it's like keywords that they can mm-hmm. they can see and they'll just fucking delete it instantly. Mm-hmm. And there's a there's an agenda behind that. I'm telling you, there's an agenda behind that because they want to they want to feed these kids with all this stuff, all this negative bullshit, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm not against any you know gay shit. Because, bro, I got gay friends. I have gay family members. It's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Live your life, bro. Like, live your Live fuck- your truth. Live your life. But I, I understand your point, bro. And the, your point is, like, once you start pushing it onto children, it's like, that's where it's like, yo, let kids decide for themselves. Let them see that. Like, they're going to see it because it's in the world. Yeah. But the point that everything has to be pushed, like... It, it has to be pushed on them. That's why I, I have the problem myself. You yeah. know what I mean? So I understand it. It's like, yo, like this girl should not. <coughs> they're grown ass men here. And then there's little ass boys fucking seeing weird ass shit, man. I'm talking, bro, I'm talking about like kids in like skirts and like shaking their ass and showing like their fucking private parts, you know? And, and it's not even showing their private parts, but it's showing like, you know, just sexual, like sexual shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, that's not that's not right. I just don't get it. I really don't. I don't. I, why don't they ban that? Why why don't they fucking ban that? They're so easy to fucking ban a comment. But why why is it not that easy to ban that? Like I just don't get it. And it, like people don't wake up. It's like, bro, like something's not right here. It doesn't seem normal. 
Like, it just doesn't seem normal to me. And it's just like people are not asking questions. People are not asking questions. And that's questions. the problem. When you, when you don't ask questions and you just go with the status quo, bro, that's what becomes dangerous. And I, and I see why Donald Trump was definitely trying to ban TikTok. Yeah, and now I get it. Like, 100%. Yeah, and that, besides all of that, like, you could call it petty or whatever, but I think we spoke about it before where it's like, bro, we're not, a, none of our shit's allowed over there. None of our fucking social medias, none of YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, none of that shit is allowed in China. But we allow their, their you know, social medias over here. And it's like, at what point, like, are, like, are we going to realize that there is an agenda behind that? Yeah. You know what I mean? There is an agenda and they're pushing it for a reason. Do I think it's China? No, absolutely not. Because China actually, I just saw an article today this morning that they banned video games that has to do with anything that's feminine that makes a man feminine. Like any, if a, if a weak man or like a man wearing uh, something feminine, like a, like a skirt or anything that's, that's gay. Mm-hmm. Like no offense to y'all. I'm just saying this is what China is doing. This is what I'm reading. Is that they're banning that? You're not allowed. There's no video games allowed like right. that. That's that's and people are saying, oh, you know, that's that's a big, you know, that's a big W for China. And there's other people saying that's a big L because I they're mean, homo. You know, they're, it, they're it being. It depends on what side of the fence you're on. I, I personally feel like that's a little excessive. I think it's a little. I bit feel too like much. it's yeah. a little too much, bro. Yeah. If you if you know if you, again if you're an adult and that's what the fuck you like, bro, and you want to go get a video game about it, like why can't you? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's what yeah. the fuck you like. That's what you do. And you're 18 and above, but exactly. nowadays it's like it's accessible to all these kids. But so, bro, that's just listen, man. That's just the way the world works. Because when we were fucking kids, we were watching shit on the internet that our parents had no fucking clue. About. I know. And that's just the way it works, man. Like every generation has ends up having one up on the generation before them when it comes to technology like trust me bro in 20 years there's gonna be kids dealing with certain technology that we're gonna be like all right it's gonna take us way longer to fucking understand because it's just like like nowadays like that's how it goes and when we were teenagers we were able to fucking just how you call it just fucking uvu and and you know kid like it was hard to stop that you know what i mean because you have video but who knows what's gonna happen in the next 20 30 years like we could have somebody fucking teleport here type shit you know what I mean? Like, That's a fact. like I'm serious. Like people Bro, didn't believe I, did, in- I started watching this this uh this documentary with Elon Musk and like the inspiration for crew and shit like that. And like there are four regular civilians that went up to space and shit for three days, like that shit is amazing, bro. And that like it really made me think. Like I was watching that documentary, I was like, bro, shit is so much like the future sci-fi shit. It's so much closer than what the fuck we think. It's not even funny, bro. Yeah. Like, I really feel like within the next 50 years, bro, we'll be starting to colonize other planets. Yeah, I I fucking see that, bro. I feel like it's crazy. Like, you know, those memes where it's like you had a good childhood if you if you did this. Like those memes? Well, it's going to be like, well, you, you had a good childhood if you were born on Earth. Yes. That's a fact. Dead ass. Like, that's crazy to me. You know what's crazy? You know what the thing is for me, bro? I'm. And I, I'm pretty sure at some point in time they'll have a name for people like me. But I'm not leaving Earth. I yeah, don't, I'm not leaving Earth. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. This is where I. Was, it's this like is, this is where I was this born. Is this is my where I'm home. Die. It's like, like what the it's fuck? Like, it's like, like the captain it, on the ship. Yeah, it's like bro. No, no, I'm sinking with my ship. Yeah, I swear, yeah, bro. I can't. Like if it fucking blows up, well, guess what? I feel like. Y'all could, you know, kill me for this, but I feel like that's what God intended. Yeah. So like, that's where I'm, I'm going to be. This is where it I'm going to be. Yeah, I'm going to fucking sink in this ocean, bro. Like, Facts. that's just like, what it is. Like, th- bro, there are some fucking captains recently. Like, there was a couple years ago, fucking uh, people uh, just jumping off the ship. Like, you know, but the captain was next to them. And they're like, aren't you the captain? And he's like, yeah, he got fucking in trouble for that. Oh, no, they put yo, him in prison. bro, you're a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. It's like, bro, you're. Nah, bro. I would fucking punch you right then and there. You know why a captain's important and you got to stay there? Because what if something happens and the boat starts working? And you could have been there to start it or move it, something, and you didn't, and then it really sunk, and then the fucking people die. Like, you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, there's other shit. That's why they get trained for certain situations, because you don't know. You don't know. But... That year piece of shit. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> like that's fucked up. But, but yeah, uh, honestly, like, bro, like yeah, that that space travel shit. It yeah. seems cool, and it's it is cool. But it's like, I'm good, bro. I'll stay right here, and um, 
I don't know, bro. Let's I feel just, like humans try to play God a little too much. Yeah, you're like, playing. You're, you're playing. You're playing with with uh with certain things that you shouldn't be playing with. You know what I mean? Like, like it's not normal for us to fucking just leave Earth. Like it's just bro, not normal. You go to space. Like astronauts have had like serious side effects from going to space. You're not supposed to fuck. Our bodies are not built to be up up there or in the ocean like deep down there it's not like Uh, bro we're on the land for we're on this (laughs) land for a reason like for real all right like and and even traveling bro like traveling wasn't something that was like like back in the day bro people didn't travel far and if they did bitch you had to walk or some shit for like two days you know what i mean but people generally stayed in the area that they you know in their region the way like that traveling shit just started and i feel like humans were the type of Creature that like once we start something, it's like we got to see how far we can fucking take it before it destroys itself. Yeah, like, it's either in this world when we, it's either we discover or we destroy. And the thing is, is like, it's usually both. Yeah, and it's like in oh, that we, order, we, we why, discover why, and then we destroy. So why do we have to discover? Like, what is the point of discovering all this stuff? What is that going to lead us to? You know what I'm saying? We're just going to destroy it. I mean, it's different when you're discovering like new medical stuff, you know, to save us and shit like that. I get it, but like. When we discover a new animal, I don't know, man. Most of the time, it's not really a good intention after that with, with, these, with these animals. It's like, I don't know, bro. It's just I feel like we're destroying the earth little by little, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. For like, sure. I don't we're know, de- man. We're destroying it gets the deep. Earth. It gets deep. Like, when you think about it, it's like, bro, like, it's true. Like, we discover and we destroy. There's, there's literally nothing else. Like, yeah, there's people that try to help the environment and help. But, like, bro, like, the, the, the evil in this world, bro, it, it, it overweighs the good. Yeah, nah, bro. There's a lot of shit like, like uh, that experiment paperclip or whatever the fuck it's called. Like that's that's real documented shit that happened in the government, bro. Where like you could go look this up, where they brought over thirty four thousand Nazi Germany scientists and started NASA. I'm telling Damn, you, that's crazy, bro. NASA was started by the by the fucking Germans. There's a lot of fucking shit that goes on in this world where when you really look into it, you're like, holy shit. Did you see the Chase sign? Like the Chase Bank? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Take a look at it, guys. Yeah, we talked about it before, yeah, man. We, yeah, and I we, was joking around. I was just being silly and shit. But if you look at it, you there are similarities. Like, But I'm telling you, bro, NASA was pretty much started by fucking Germans and they're all German like Nazi scientists and shit, bro. It's it's crazy. Like it was actually a Nazi uh a Nazi like general that designed like Rikers Island or some some shit like that. Like I'm yeah. telling you, bro, some island up in New York, I don't think it was a Rikers Island. But listen, man, the point is it's like we live in a crazy world where a lot of shit is going on behind the closed curtain and we don't know what the fuck is really, really going on. They do, though. The Trust go- me, bro. They yeah, do. Yeah, the like, government, bro, the government is so strong that they were able to convince the whole United States, like the whole world, basically. They convinced us to think that bin Laden was a horrible fucking person, right? And we know nothing about him. Nothing. Nothing. That's how strong our government is. Our government and the media was able to convince the whole world that this man was the worst man in the world and... Mm-hmm. and and caused all this fucking destruction with no proof. Right. But then when you look deeper into it and you really dig into like what happened, like they were funded by the United States government. Yeah. Al Qaeda was funded by the United States government and mm-hmm. they were trained by the CIA. So and y'all could sit here and look at me like I'm some conspiracy theory theorist or whatever, but you could look everything that I'm fucking telling you, bro, y'all could look it up and Y'all could come back in the comments and let me know if I'm bullshit. But yeah, bro, nah, it, it's, it, true. it's a crazy fucking world, man. And it's it's a crazy world. And it's not like people don't understand the biggest the biggest money maker on this earth. What do you think it is? Uh, Maybe human trafficking, maybe fucking uh, gold. I don't know. What is it? Organ donating. OK. Or, or organ donations. OK. Pretty much organ harvesting. Oof. Like they have like bids for this shit. Like yeah. they're like like their stock markets and shit, like private stock markets for like trillionaires and billionaires for organs. Yeah, so you, you can live saying? longer and shit. That's why sometimes that's why like 
some people are like, yo, don't don't say that you're an organ donor because if you get into an accident, they'll probably you know they yeah. might let you die just so they can harvest your good organs. Yeah, I took mine. I took mine off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's a lot of shit that goes on in this fucking world, man. Like. In the beginning, when I first got my license, I didn't know any of that. I wasn't aware of any of that. But the older you get, you realize you're like, oh, man. So that's why when I renewed my shit last year, yeah, you took I, I took it off. Yeah, because like, you being a good person, you're like, yeah, yeah, if I die, you can take my organs. Yeah. But you're not thinking like they're going to let me die so they can take my fucking organs. That's you true. know what I'm saying? Like, you're not thinking that. Like, you're like, oh, they're going to do their best to try to save my fucking life. The doctor's going to be like, oh, nah, bro. This nigga's a healthy young buck. His heart, his fucking lungs... And this and that is good on them. Let them go. Like, and we'll fucking make a half a million dollars off this motherfucker by tomorrow. Literally. Like, that's how that shit goes, bro. Yeah. It's big money. Like I know. And I was sitting in the airport one time. I think I've said this story, too, man. I, we've talked a lot of, like about the same shit. I know, guys. But we have a lot of new listeners, yeah, too. Well, so. yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. So, so welcome so. to the... So welcome. welcome. You know, to the new listeners and to the ones that are tired of hearing us, we fucking love you. But if you don't like it, get the fuck it's out. It's like Gary Vee saying right. the same shit. He's like, I say the same shit over and over again. Well, maybe y'all need to start listening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, but I was sitting, I was going to, uh, I was going to Puerto Rico on vacation five years ago. And I was waiting in line to get, to get boarded on the plane. And I remember, and I see this law enforcement officer with this paramedic and they're walking with a cooler and they're like really urgent trying to get onto the plane. And I was like, damn, mom, what is that? What's going on? And she's just like, oh, no, that's just, that's an organ. That has to be somebody's like, you know what I mean? Like heart or some shit, like anything, bro. And I was just like, bro, that's crazy. Like that, yeah, like that's, bro. that's kind of cool in a way. Cause it's like, damn, like you could do that. Like, but it was kind of creepy. Yeah. No, it's, I'm telling you, man, the shit that goes on on this planet is fucking crazy. Man. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Like, I'm gonna just put your fucking kidney in a fucking, in a cooler and then get it transferred over from fucking Canada. You know what I mean? Because you need it. Mm hmm. Like that's Yeah bro It just It lets you know cool. a lot Like I think it was The Rothschild I think it was The Rothschild Or something some, like, I heard about that. Like that That motherfucker <laughs> He got like Ten surgeries Like seven No I'm, it's no, no joke no, Like no, seven heart transplants bro. I know And that right there lets you know Everything you need to know About About organ harvesting Because He's like a trillionaire of yeah. course you of course you could fucking jump the list seven times. But there's people sitting here waiting for a new heart, bro, for fucking ten years and yep. they never make it to see yep. their new heart. Yep. You and if you saying? fuck up, like, like you fuck up like the orders, like if the doctor notices like you don't care and you're not like taking care of your body, they'll skip you. <laughs> of course. Like the I mean, I'm not gonna drinking. lie, yeah. that'd be that like I probably would too. Be like, yeah, hey, it's this like, fucking piece of shit. Like, yo, how about we give this heart to like a twelve year old that's gonna be something instead of this fucking thirty five year old yeah. that's like still doing heroin and shit. Yeah. Like no I'm for not real. drinking like, every day. Like, you know, right, what you mean? got you yeah. gotta show some initiative and want it wanting to fucking help yourself. But there's people that do and they still get fucked. You know what I'm saying? It's not a fair fair world. It's not a fair life, but like it's just not shit's fucked up some people that don't deserve things they get them some people that do don't and it's just life man you can't fucking cry about it bro you just got to play the hand you're dealt man it's like bro i'm telling you bro it's like playing any type of fucking game you play chess bro you you got to fucking outthink the other person that's pretty much all that game's about mm -hmm. that's why motherfuckers really really get mad when they lose yeah because it's like it's a different type of game it's, it's like you're pretty much proving to the other person bro i can outthink you i can stay three steps ahead of you and you won't know what the fuck is going on yeah and that's like to most men bro that's like an ego poke it's like i just fucking fucked your head up mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you thought you were you're, you're not as smart as you thought Damn. You know what I mean? Like, nah. <laughs> real talk. Like, yo, I always wanted to go to New York, bro. Yo, New York, man. I always wanted I'd to go to New York. To, I'd love to go to New York, but like, I feel like I'd get pissed real quick up there. <laughs> and I'd come back with a fucking New York accent. Nah. You know what I mean, Mom? I'll nah. start slapping motherfuckers, Bibbidi ride the subway, and spit on the fucking tube. Where's the pepperoni, care. huh? Hey, nah, where's I mean, the best piece? Nah, but it's crazy, here. bro, because they got, they got mobsters. They got fucking like the Italian mob, bro. They got fucking. They got yeah, every it's single. Diver no, no, no. Yeah. It's like one of the biggest melting pots in the world, bro. Like, honestly, if you, if you compare it to back in it like in like history new york is like the modern rome yeah it is i'm telling you bro yeah. like honestly bro that's where that's where the money's that's like the central for money of the fucking if world you, if you want to like, do music you're going to new york if you do anything big you're going to new york broadway and you want to get paid you have to go to new york to see these motherfuckers that sign your checks 
Like that's where it's at. It's not in California. It's not in Florida. It's not in Texas. It's not in fucking anywhere else. New York. Yeah, that's where you have to go. You gotta go like, sign this check. You know, come on. Like fly to come New pick York. It up. Yeah, it's New York, bro. So it's like I want to go. My mom went. Hell yeah, she went to fucking China. My sister the, went. The Shout chi- out to Ilya. The China, yeah, like, the China, whatever. Yeah, she bought. Chinatown. She, she, oh yeah, you could get a rolling no, no, out there no, for she, fucking hundred dollars. I wore, I wore the Gucci. <laughs> it's a fake Gucci hat. You know what I mean? Like, but it was man. It, man but it's it, probably it's, made right in the same factory. <laughs> I swear to God. Nah, but like these now, people, yo, you see these scraps? Just put them on these hats and sell them in the fucking corner. It surprises me that these people are actually making money off this bootleg shit. Like people. Like she's been going to the bro, same people for 15 years. Bro, listen, like, man. These people know. are making money off your logo. Yo, but it's like that says something. It says a lot, but it's like, nigga, it happens every fucking day. People do it with weed. There's people that just go on fucking line and buy the fucking cookies bags and put shitty ass weed in it, and people think it's fucking bomb just because it's in a cookies and, bag. And it may not even a be lot of y'all weed. are getting got, man. Yeah, I'm telling it's you, it's not even that. Like it, you're smoking pretty good weed. No, no, it's, no, just, it's all yeah, right. Yeah. You know, but it's just not cookies. It's not cookies. But guess what? We got a cookies coming. Yeah, bro, we got a cookies coming to D land. So no, man, I'm gonna tell you. What, so if y'all bro, are still smoking fake round cookies, round of applause. It's a big burn. Burn, bro. Big burn, Yo, man. My dog, goat. bro. Shout, hey, listen, man. Shout we got to shout goat. out. Of, we got to give an appreciation of the Again. week. Again. Appreciation of the week applause goes to fucking big burn, man. That guy started from the bottom. He started selling packs when he was young, young. He was like 13 by the time he was in the game. You know, it was crazy. <laughs> Fucked around, got into a dispensary, learned how to run that. Then he realized there was like. No marketing in it. Nobody had a fucking brand. Nobody had a logo. Nobody had nothing. So he started thinking, bro, and he built his brand off that shit. You know what I'm saying? And now he's all around the world, dog. That nigga has stores everywhere, bro. Yeah, I think he has a store in Puerto Rico. Promise you. Damn. I promise you. He's doing big shit. Jesus. Bro. Like, he's doing big shit. And it's like, yo, that round of applause to him, bro. Nah, for real. You know what I mean? Like he ri- he says it all the time. He's like, bro, I risk my fucking life. Watch I risk that documentary. My- I risk my life. I risk my freedom for this shit. Yeah. And that's the part that a lot of people is like, what are you willing to risk for your dream? Most people are too scared to fucking even quit their day job to go chase a dream, let alone face time in prison and get fucking killed over it. Fucking, you know um, what I'm saying? Like Wallow, fucking. Uh, that's his name, Wallow, the one. That Wallow. Did- yeah. yeah. Shout like, out to Wallow. Yo, Round of applause to Wallow. Man, it's crazy that he did like twenty years, bro. Twenty years in prison, and I'm like, I'm like, bro, like he's so inspirational. Mm-hmm. The way that he talks and the way that he be making those clips. Like I watched a video the other day, and he's like, bro, you have a fucking dream, bro. Don't don't let anybody fucking tell you shit, bro. He Thanks. said, I I don't care if you're going through fucking. He said, I don't give a fuck what you're going through, bro. He started naming crazy shit. He said, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what you're going through, bro. He like keep dreaming, bro. I was sitting in that fucking in that cell, fucking still dreaming. Bro, and listen, I was just man, like, damn, that that's was inspirational. Hard to do. Like, and then his story, if you know, if you heard his story, he went to he went to prison when he was like seventeen, dog. Rob, uh, I think it was like, like a robbery, right? Uh, armed robbery, yeah, or something armed like robbery. That. You gotta think about this. You're seventeen years old, and they're telling you you're about to spend more time in a cage than you've been alive. Like, you can't. Like, that's a pro. Like, that's that does something to your mental, bro. That nobody could understand unless you go through it. Because that, that fucks you, bro. That's pretty much... They're telling you life. They're telling you life. Like, it, it's only 20 years. And in hindsight, when you're 80 years old, you're going to be like, damn, like, yeah, 20 years is a fucking long time. But, it, like, in a whole... Some, like, a whole person's life is not that crazy. But yeah. it's like, at 17, that's your whole life gone. Like, you're like, fuck it. I'm out of here, bro. Yeah, that's like, fucking... Like, I'm out of here. And I remember on, on the episode, there was a young artist. And he's like, how old are you? And he's like, 23. He's like, bro, I spent 20 years. I spent pretty much your whole life. Yeah, he's like, yo, your whole life I've been in fucking jail. Mm-hmm. And that's that's, and th- that's that's amazing. But the more amazing part is not that he went to jail or any of that. We're not glorifying none of that nah, shit. What we're glorifying cool. is this man getting out and in a few years. This nigga has a great podcast. He's doing his thing. He has his merch. He got his bread up. You he know got what I'm a saying? Book. He's, he, he got a book. He's living his life, man. And that, that to me, bro, is inspirational, bro. It shows you that. Like what he said, bro. Doesn't matter what you go through in life, man. You got to get up and get it. Yeah, and make the best out of it. And, and, and bro, again, it's inspirational because most of those guys end up back in prison. In all reality, I think it's like they have like a ninety three percent like return rate or some crazy shit like that. Yeah, where out of a hundred niggas that you see come out of prison, ninety three of them go back and only seven stay out. That's a crazy fucking ratio, bro. 
And I might be fucked up with that number, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Trust me. It's a lot. It's, it's around that. So shout out to him, man. And I hope he stays doing his fucking thing. Bro. Yeah, bro. That shit's crazy, man. And he, he be telling these guys, bro. He had an interview with Pooh like months before he, he got into that, that situation in Miami. Mm-hmm. He's like, bro, don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of trouble, bro. Because this, this is what it's set up to be. Like, you know what I mean? They, they make money off you. They send you to jail. Mm-hmm. And it's just the same rotation. And they get another rapper named fucking New Shicey. Yeah. Instead of Pooh. But yeah, facts. You see what I'm saying? It's facts. Like, it's that's, just, facts. that's just the rotation, bro. And that's just the, the agenda that they got going on, bro. What people don't understand is in the music industry, bro, is real wicked. They make the most money off of the rappers that go to jail or die. Yeah. Like, it was a real sad situation for, for the fans of King Von, but the, his record label made money. Yeah. Money. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. And it's sad, but that's how that shit goes. The owner of that record label was fucking laughing to the bank when King Von died. I promise you he was. He don't give a fuck, nigga. He never met King Von. He knows what the shit is. It's like, yo, yo, go find an ignorant rapper that has a lot of influence in his neighborhood. Make him fucking rich. Put a fucking couple thousand dollar chains on him. Give him a nice watch. Give him a nice Give car. him what he wants. Give him, give him a couple hundred thousand. Yeah, He'll be happy. He's never seen that type of money before in his life. Yeah. Now you see niggas in the videos flexing. The whole time these executives, these niggas know what's up. Yeah. It's a ticking time bomb. Mm-hmm. You just gave somebody that's never had shit. They're in a certain lifestyle. You gave them everything. Bread. You gave them the ammunition to go crash the fuck out with no guidance. You just give them the bread. Here, boom, go crash out. Now when he crash out, bro, we make the bread as the executives and the fucking higher ups. Like, it's all set up, bro. I'm telling you, like, they don't really give a fuck about you, man. And it's sad, bro. Because these guys give their fucking lives. Like, DMX, these guys that are older, bro, they've literally given 25, 30 years of their fucking life to to the people, to entertaining people, bro. And they get fucked. Yeah. They get fucked. And that's a fucked up. situation, bro. I, that's something I don't want to be in. And uh, Facts. You know, that's just... Some people like it, though. And some man, people just it, like it, that lifestyle and they just want to do it. And it's like, all right, it's cool. It's not for everybody, yeah. but it is for some people. It's the same thing with anything else, bro. Like some people can handle it and they want to do it and they think it's fun. And that's, you know, that's their lifestyle. And then other people are like, man, I could do that like, in a different way. Like I know some homeless people that would get locked up on purpose because that's, oh, yeah, because yeah, they, they'd rather be in there. They of got course. their friends in there. They got their family in there. And it's just like, yo, they ain't got nothing out there. In or the world. they're homeless and they get, they got nowhere to go. They have no family, bro. And it's a fucking cold. Yep. And nigga, it's about to hit freezing temperatures tonight. And I'm going to break this window in front of this store. Let's set the alarm off and sit here till the cops show up. Yeah. And I'm going to fucking sit here with the food, play the food and be warm. Yeah. I'm going to get least. two meals a day. And fucking have a blanket at night. I'm not in the freezing weather. Yeah, but that's that's and it's a sad way that, to live. Sad. But some people are like, listen, bro, like that's their life. You know, you choose. You pick and choose the lifestyle that you want to live, man. I really feel that way, bro. Yep, you me know? too. Straight the fuck up. But listen, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, go down, leave a comment, go down in the description, get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? And listen, bro, don't forget, tell somebody you love them, all right? Yeah, we'll yeah, catch you yeah. on the next one. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love.